Now, Patrick Mabilo replaced and battled Saul Plaki Mayor Mangaliso Matika in September last year. Well, this follows violent protests by the community in July who demanded that Matika step down. Tonight, we take a look at the state of Kimberley since those turbulent times. And uh, Patrick Mabilo now joins us uh, from our studios in Kimberley. Mayor, thank you very much for your time. Nice to see you. I hope you can hear me. Well, it's, it, it, it's been quite a while, perhaps one would say, uh, since you replaced, uh, uh, you know, um, your uh, previous uh, mayor, Mangaliso Matika. So basically, you know, as uh, the mayor of that community, what has really changed? We saw a whole lot of uproar. There were allegations of corruption, and basically the community said he needed to go. What have you changed within this short space of time? Well, first and foremost, we want to take this opportunity to thank you for having invited us. What we can say is that uh, when we took over, immediately we embarked on a turnaround trajectory. The first was to ensure that we reclaim the CBD, we reclaim the city, we reclaim the inner city in ensuring that there's cleanliness, uh, uh, debris collected, waste management, etc. We rolled out a number of projects in relation to MIC, the stormwater, which is almost about 500 million, and also declaring the war on potholes, mm. declaring the war on. Um, uh, lack of uh, payment by, by residents. So we have, in a short space of time, hit the ground running mm. and turning around the, the situation for, for the better to ensure that the citizens enjoy the services that they, they need. Uh, I'm sure that's uh, very commendable, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll come back to the issue of uh, the sewage system uh, uh, very shortly and some of the water restrictions that we've seen in Kimberley in recent times. But I want to talk about the 106 report that uh, uh, Cocta had basically uh, released that spoke about massive maladministration within the municipality. And uh, you know, just looking back to some of the recommendations that were, were, were made, you were scheduled to implement some of the recommendations that were made in, the, in those findings. Have you done, us, done that? Tell us what has been done so far. Well, we are a constitutional democracy. The matter of 106 is sub judicare. As you'll understand, the affected uh, individuals, they have interdicted the report. As such, the matter is in court and in terms of the legal processes. We cannot uh, comment further. The matter is subject to care. But of course, it must but be of concern. Yes, it. Mayor, but it must be of concern to you because initially, what had taken place is that before you had come into this particular position, there had been much discontent in Kimberley about allegations of corruption and residents that felt that nothing of of, of progress was happening within that area. Yes, the report itself has been interdicted at this stage, but allegations of corruption within the municipality must be of concern to you. Well, uh, from a policy position, the ANC is quite clear that uh, we don't tolerate uh, corruption. We are robust in terms of addressing it. And all uh, people with evidence, they must report all allegations of corruptions to the law enforcement agencies. We will not hide any form of corruption. With regard to the report, I've already articulated a, a, a position that says the report was interdicted. As such, we are unable to process with it. But in relation to corruption, we are not found wanting. We are quite clear that uh, in terms of our manifesto, in terms of our policies, in, to, in terms of our statements, we will not tolerate corruption anywhere else. In the, in the municipality, irrespective yeah, of... Yeah, if it is found, if it is found, Mayor, that uh, once this issue, I guess, have been, has been dealt with with regard to the interdict, if there are any uh, officials that are found within the municipality to have been involved in alleged corruption as the new man on the block, are you willing to put your head on the block and say that uh, you would be able to deal with those issues and get rid of individuals who are basically holding the municipality hostage? It's not about me as an individual, it's a party political position that corruption, wherever it rears its head, it must be dealt with. And in carrying out the ANC policy, anti-corruption policy, whoever is involved in the Solplaki municipality, irrespective of his or her standing, 
the law will have to take its course. No one will be spared from corruption. People are sick and tired of corruption because it robs the, the poorest of the poor. And uh, people cannot hide behind any other factor. As, as we can see, the Bosasa and all those things, we are forthright as the ANC to say corruption must come to an end. So in a nutshell, as a mayor of Salt Blakey, I will not, together with the collective, tolerate any form of corruption. No one will be spared. And we are encouraging the public to say any corrupt activity that they get hold of, they must bring it to the attention of the of the law enforcement agency. And as a mayor, I will protect no one. In fact, I will be the first to take whether senior uh, cadres in, in, in the municipality to, to, to the cleaners. That's the message. Right through, it's ANC policy, we don't tolerate corruption. Mm. Uh, Mayor, you know, one of uh, the bones of contention, if you speak to, uh, you know, the residents uh, that fall under your municipality, they complain about, uh, you know, the sewage system. It's been ongoing. And another issue that I want you to touch on is that a recent statement had indicated that the water situation had not improved in Kimberley since 2018. In fact, stage five water restrictions were put in place. And this seems to be one of the issues that the people of Kimberley say you would need to deal with head on. Uh, how do you plan to kickstart or, or, or get the situation under control? Well, we are candid and frank to say there were challenges confronting us as a municipality in relation to water, in relation to sanitation. We have unleashed our engineers in terms of infrastructure to ensure that they respond to the water challenges and the sewer challenges. We have established a rapid response team. There is a tremendous improvement in terms of the water flow. But we must explain to the public to say what are the reasons that contributed to the situation where we are. Kimberley has grown. There has been massive, massive development, hospitals, the university, new residential areas. And the infrastructure capacity was compromised in that regard. That's why we had to embark on the water outages because we were uh, uh, upgrading our pump stations. Yeah. Uh, so uh, sorry, sorry, sure Mayor. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, yeah. Mayor uh, uh, Mabilo. Just before we wrap up, I do apologize. Uh, we don't have much time left. But were these water restrictions not just implemented just last month? While you say indeed that a lot has been done to try and get the situation under control, just last month the SABC had received several calls from residents in Kimberley complaining about these water restrictions. So, what exactly have you done? No, absolutely. We have been frank and open to the public the reasons why. But there is a tremendous improvement in terms of the water flow. As I report to you now, there's not been areas affected by water outages. It was the matter of the heat wave, massive usage of water, etc. The engineers have explained that. But as I indicate to you now, is that there's tremendous improvement. The engineers are working. Clearly, our pump in Riverton is upgraded. It's more than 200 million that you have spent. Yeah. So the water restriction is a, is, is, is a matter that has been attended to. 99% of water now is, is, is flowing freely. As I speak to you now, yeah. at night, like now, as I speak, there's no outages for the moment because we have responded up, uh, uh, absolutely with professionalism. All right. Of our engineers. All right, the mayor of the Soil Blackie municipality, Patrick Mabilo, thank you very much for your time joining us from our studios in Kimberley, talking, of course, about some of the challenges uh, that that particular region is experiencing as we continue to cross uh, to various regions around the country here on the full view as we head to the much anticipated May election. Let's take a short